If a smart student on Ocracoke wants to take honors physics, odds are their high school won't have enough students to offer it. But the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics in Durham can make it happen. The School of Science and Math was the first residential school of its kind in the country. But it's also been a leader in distance education, reaching 700 additional students who are literally scattered across North Carolina, from Murphy to Manteo. Not every qualified student can travel to Durham, so the school offers both online courses and interactive video conferencing courses, which links students from high schools across the state in a live virtual classroom with each other and an instructor at the School of Science and Math. You know, if you saw that board, you would see, you know, Perquimans High School or, you know, South Stanley High School. And so we work with them. Many schools in the state might not be able to offer a, a, a certain courses, AP courses or high level STEM courses because they might not have enough students to take them or just can't afford to do it. And what we do, our teacher teaches out of the studio and they may have three or five students from a school and we combine three or five students from five or six schools into a classroom and so this is a virtual classroom. These are ways that we meet students and schools where they are across the state of North Carolina. And some of the courses that we're able to offer are courses that the students would not otherwise have access to. Courses like honors aerospace engineering or honors genetics and biotechnology, honors forensic science, honors African American studies. A few years ago at a conference with state legislators, school officials brought along a distance education student. We brought into the room as a part of the presentation one of our students who was taking um, AP statistics through interactive video conference from us um, in Cape Hatteras. And, and, and she was asked, well, why do you take you know, this course in, in this way and, and the, the reason was that she did not have access. A separate program offers classes online to students who take anywhere from one to three classes at the School of Science and Math each semester while remaining at their hometown schools. NCSSM Online serves more than 360 students a year as part of this two-year program. Access to high-speed internet service is so sparse in some parts of the state that some students go to the public library or even McDonald's to take their classes. Currently, we have about 311 students in our IVC program. Over 55% of those students are from our rural counties and another 20% are from our most economically disadvantaged counties in the state. So this is really our way to say everybody in the state deserves a high quality education and students in our online program are from 78 different counties across the state. About 15% of those students are underrepresented minorities. This year I had two students at Murphy High School in Cherokee County and I had students in Pascotank County and I know that we've had students in Ocracoke. Yes, we're meeting the needs of students in School X and School Y and, and Manio and Ocracoke and Murphy and Roanoke Rapids and Duplin County Schools. Many of the students exposed to this rigorous content for the first time. And so with that, it's a shared experience where the students are, are learning from each other and learning with each other. And that, I think, is, gives them that, that boost as they head off to college. Part of the mission of the North Carolina School of Science and Math is to advance education across the state of North Carolina and distance education is one of the major ways in which we do that.